Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So there is an interesting story I want to share with you. Yesterday I met two aliens. Okay. So they had come from some other planet. So alien 1 and alien 2. Okay. Now me being a data science guy, I thought let's do some experiment with my new friends. So I just showed them many apples and many bananas. Okay. They had never seen these fruits before. I showed them this is how apple look like and this is how banana look like. So these guys saw those fruits and then once I trained them, I wanted to predict with my models, right? So I just took an apple and told them, hey, can you tell me which fruit it is? And then these two guys took an altogether different approach. What did this guy did is, he took a piece of paper and started drawing how apple looks like and how banana looks like okay so he started drawing an apple like this he started drawing a banana like this and once done this guy tells me hey Aman whatever you are showing me is an apple fine good answer right answer but this guy did not take this approach what this guy did is this guy just compared the features of apple and banana in his mind and he tells me whatever you are showing me is an apple so these two guys took two different approaches. The approach which this guy took is known as generative classification and the approach which this guy took is known as discriminative classification. Let us start the discussion with all the details of generative and discriminative classification in this video. So I will take two algorithms and make you understand how you can explain what is a gen generative classification and what is a discriminative classification to someone okay let us say there is one algorithm called logistic regression okay logistic regression this is an example of discriminative classification and there is other example known as nave base okay nave base this is an example of generative classification now you must be aware how logistic regression and nave base works right what logistic regression does is it tries to create a decision boundary based on what based on different features of the input what can be the features here so the feature can be color the feature can be length the feature can be weight so when you train a logistic regression model what happens is it will take all these features into consideration and learn some patterns like this just some rough patterns I am telling if the color is yellow and if the length is let's say greater than 5 then there is 0 0.7 probability that this fruit is a banana okay and if that condition satisfies then there is 0 0.3 probability that it is an apple so which probability is more banana hence classify this fruit as banana what is happening here guys it is creating a decision boundary based on features of the examples or training data this type of learning is known as discriminative learning now what is a what is a uh, generative learning in generative learning what will happen is the model internally will try to find the distribution of both the classes in a n-dimensional plane. Let me give you a simple example. How many features we are talking about here? Three features. So let us say we can draw this in a n-dimensional plane like this. So one can be color, one can be length, one can be weight. Okay. Now let us say these are the points of apple and these are the points of banana. Just some rough diagram I am drawing here, right? Now what is happening here is, if it is a generative classification, then it will try to model the individual classes. What is the meaning of modeling the individual classes? It will try to see how the probability curve of this is looking like around these parameters and how the probability of this is looking like around these parameters. Tomorrow a new example comes, it will check the new example is more closer to this distribution or this distribution which distribution it is more closer to and that is what alien one was doing 
when he was drawing apple image and banana image okay so this is the basic difference between how a discriminative model works and how a generative model works these two are examples now which model do you think will get impacted by missing data let me ask you if it's a generative model or if it's a discriminative model which model will need more data for training and which model will need less data for training which model will get impacted by outliers and which model will not get impacted by outliers which model will need more mathematical calculations and which model will need less mathematical calculations which model will tend to overfit and which model will not tend to overfit i can answer you all these questions but i want to you know get answers from you because if you understood the concept these are very simple things to answer right so just to give you some hint guys even if there is less data you can train a generative model the meaning is generative model does not need many things to learn right it will just try to see how a apple looks like how a banana looks like on the other hand a discriminative model will need little more data because it needs to learn the features right so it will need more data and whatever questions i asked you on the same line you can think and you'll be very easily able to answer me okay so why i took this topic is first some of you asked me in the comment second i was seeing some interviews of data science in some other youtube channel this question was one of the generic they are asking and you know one simple concept that you should know so let me know how did you like the video guys let me know if you have any questions please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you have not done yet i'll see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care